how to plan a photo of the April 8, 2024 total solar eclipse and the Comet 12P Pons Brooks. Hello, Photopillar, Rafael the Bar here. On April 8, we'll have the opportunity to photograph a total solar eclipse, including the partial phase of the eclipse, and of course, all the phenomena that occurs during totality. The diamond ring, the Bailey's beads, the sun's corona, the chromosphere, and even the earth shine on the moon. And if we're lucky, during totality, when it gets dark, we'll be able to see and photograph Comet 12P Pons Brooks, which might even be visible to the naked eye. As you know, comets are really unpredictable. But to tell you the truth, I would be super happy if you get even 30% of the show that Comet Neowise gave us a few years ago. Comet 12P Pons Brooks has been predicted to be visible in the Northern Hemisphere until mid-April and in the Southern Hemisphere in May. Well, long story short, if you wish to photograph the total solar eclipse and the Comet 12P Pons Brooks, the first thing you need to figure out is when and where on Earth the eclipse and the comet will be visible. Therefore, you need a plan. So let's start planning. Go to photo pills, tap on planner, and now tap on the map settings button, this button here, and go tap on eclipse. And here you have all the lunar and solar eclipses. And I'm gonna be choosing the total solar eclipse on April 8, 2024. Okay, go back to the map. And now swipe to the panel to the left, the top panel to the left. I'm gonna speak slowly for the people that don't, doesn't understand me. For the people that don't understand me, <laughs> I'll try it. Swipe the panel to the uh, left until you get to this panel here, the eclipse panel. And now we'll zoom out to see where on earth the eclipse will be visible. Well, unfortunately here in Europe and uh, Africa and Asia, it won't be visible, it will be visible in the Americas, even a bit of Iceland and Greenland. So in the areas here between the yellow lines, you'll be able to visualize the partial phase of the eclipse. So you see on the top panel, you have the partial phase showing on the top panel and also the time of each phase when the eclipse begins, when it's maximum and when it ends. So between the yellow lines, only the partial phase. If you want to see totality, you need to go to the path of totality, which is this black band that you have here on the map. And that goes from, goes from Canada, crossing the USA till Mexico. Very cool. Perfect. So if you wish to photograph the totality, all the phases that occur during totality, you need to be within the path of totality. And in our case, we put together an expedition to Prince Edward Island in, uh, in Canada, here. So we'll be uh, here in the Prince Edward Island in Canada. And by the way, the closer you are to the uh, blue line, the longer totality will last. And you have the time of totality how much totality lasts uh, in brackets in the first eclipse panel here. For example, where I had the red pin, totality lasts three minutes and 16 seconds. Let's place it on Prince Edward Island here. Let's say here, okay, in this position, totality lasts three minutes and 12 seconds. And go back to panel number two of the eclipse. And here I have all the times for all the phases of the eclipse. So the eclipse begins at uh, 3.27 p.m. 0, 0 seconds and totality begins at 4 35 and 33 seconds so when the moon covers completely the disk of the sun the eclipse is maximum at 4 37 and it, the totality ends at 4 38 and 46 seconds and the eclipse ends at 5 30, uh, 43 and one minute which is pretty cool so you do a long press on the time on the top panel to set it on the time bar. And you can also swipe the time bar. This colorful bar behind, below the map is the time bar. And when you swipe, you see how the eclipse phase changes on the top panel. But anyway, I'll tap where the eclipse is maximum here on the top panel. So at 4, 37 and 10 uh, seconds p.m. And as you see, the face shown, uh, the face showing on the top panel is totality. And on the map, I have where the clips will be visible in the direction of this thin kind of um, purple line. It, it is purple because the line of the sun and the moon are you know, together because it's a total solar eclipse. So on the map, I have where the clips will occur. 
And if I tap on the AR button, I'll be able to visualize where the eclipse occurs in the sky. So I have the horizon here, and here I have the position of the sun and the moon. So in Canada, it's pretty low. If you go further south towards Texas and Mexico, you'll see that totality occurs when the sun is above 60 degrees. It's very high in the sky. So very cool. And you can also swipe the time bar and the screen here and see how the eclipse evolves. And if you go back to the map, you see that the face has also changed on the top panel. Okay, I'll go back to totality here, the pin of totality. So you have everything for the shot. You can just move the red pin in the area you're going to be shooting and then set the time of the face of the eclipse you want to photograph. And on the map you have the direction and on the AR you have the position of the Milky of the Way of the eclipse in the sky. This is the horizon. Very, very cool and easy. So planning the eclipse is pretty easy if you just want to photograph the faces of the eclipse. If you wish to align the eclipse with uh, an in building or an interesting subject, it's going to be tough depending on where you are because the eclipse is very high in the sky. But if you manage to find the location and you want to uh, plan it, you can use the same workflow we use when we plan the full moon and you can learn how to do it by watching this video here. Okay, this is for the total solar eclipse planning. But what happens with the comet 12P Bones Brooks? Well, you know that the celestial body in the sky is uh, located by two coordinates. Astronomers use two coordinates, the right ascension and the declination. And I'm gonna read <laughs> these coordinates for the comet on April 8th, which are the right ascension is 2 hours 41 minutes and 52.2 seconds, and the declination is 18 degrees uh, 13 minutes and 34 seconds. This is north. Okay, Rafa, but what the hell are you talking about? Okay, don't worry. Given the right ascension and the declination, it's super easy to locate the celestial body, the comet, in the sky using the Mindtel Reality View. So just place yourself where the red pin is, where you want to photograph the eclipse, right here. In my case, well, not in the water, but here on the beach. So you place yourself where the red pin is, and then you tap on the night AR. And here you have the celestial equator. You have the position of the eclipse. Yeah, this is the position of the moon. Uh, and then this is the celestial equator. And the right ascension is measured on the celestial equator. So this is 22, uh, 20 hours, 0 hours, 2 hours. Okay. And for the comment, the right ascension I set is 2 hours and 41 minutes. So this is 2 hours and this is, where are you? Oh, 0 hours, 2 hours, 4 hours. So 2 hours and 41 minutes should be more or less over here. And then we need to account for the declination. And you know that the declination of the Polaris is 90, the declination of the stars and the celestial bodies on the celestial equator is zero. So, and for the, uh, the comet, the declination is 18 degrees, more or less 18 degrees, so two hours, more or less 41 minutes around here, 18 degrees, this is 10 degrees, this is 20 degrees, so it should be more or less around here, where I have the tip of my finger. So, two hours, this is three hours in the middle here, so more or less like here, and then 10, 18. So I should see the comet right there above the eclipse, which is pretty cool. And next to the comet, we'll see Jupiter. And below the eclipse, we'll see Venus at the time of totality. So very, very cool. I'm gonna have Venus over here, because I know it, and uh, the comet over here, and Jupiter just above the comet and the eclipse over there. So yeah, where the eclipse occurs, look north, look uh, above the eclipse on the right hand side, on the left hand side, and you'll see Jupiter. And hopefully, if it's bright enough, you're gonna be, we'll be able to see also the comet. And below the eclipse, more to the right, and the eclipse more to the right, we'll see Venus shining in the sky when it gets dark because of totality. Awesome. So again, given the coordinates, the right ascension and declination, you can locate any celestial body in the sky using the night AR. Very cool. So tell me, let me know in the comments, do you think it is difficult to, to plan the comment? I don't think so, right? Where we just locate the eclipse with the AR and you know that on the top 
right hand, left hand side you're gonna see Jupiter and the Eclipse and the, and the comet. Super easy, you cannot miss it. Really, really, and we are super excited to be in Canada. And why Canada? Well, we decided to go to Canada because it's the only place on Earth where we can photograph in the same week the Aurora Borealis, the Milky Way, and the comet. If we are lucky with clouds, which is the most challenging part because the cloud coverage on pay, because cloud coverage in pay is between 80 and 60 percent throughout the month of April. But you know, this is an adventure. So life is risky and we like to take risks. Wish us good luck. Well, this is how you can easily plan uh, the total solar eclipse and the Comet 12P Pons Brooks using photopills and the Mentor Reality Views in photopills and the planner. And in two weeks, I'm gonna share another video with you where I show you how to photograph both the eclipse and all the phenomena that occur during totality and the comet. Don't miss it. Also, if you don't want to uh, wait for two weeks, I invite you to download and study well our super detailed total solar eclipse photography guide. I'm gonna leave a link to the guide in the description of this video and in the first comment below. Download it and check it and study well. You have everything there. And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday in another video. And remember that you have the power to imagine, plan, and shoot legendary photos. Bye.